Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. On today's show, find out more about your clubs and meetings, today's sporting events, and this year's food drive. And how you can join school organizations. I'm Zoe Bryant. And I'm Kaya Lee. And Coyote Nation, Nation TV, TV Live starts now. Happy Friday, Calots. It's been a long week. Oh, you can say that again because I'm tired and glad it's Friday. I cannot wait until this weekend so I can start studying for my test with my friends. Mm, I think I'll pass on studying for this weekend. <laughs> and it's not that I'm against study groups, but I heard that some students are taking advantage of it. What do you mean taking advantage of? Like cheating? Yep. And luckily, I have a story on it. Let's take a look. Unfortunately, cheating has become an everyday problem in almost every student's life. But why do people cheat in the first place? According to the student handbook, cheating displays a lack of integrity and character that doesn't represent the values of heritage. Oh, people cheat because, I mean, because like they just, they're lazy, they don't want to do nothing. I feel that people cheat because they don't believe in themselves or they don't they're relying on others to do the work. Sometimes students don't realize the long-term or even short-term effects cheating could have on them. I think it's the most problematic because it becomes a habit and so it starts small and you might cheat on something simple and not a big deal like homework or and then the problem is it becomes a habit. If you want to do something in life you got to do it on your own. I mean what are you gonna do on college? I mean, what are you gonna do on your own in the real world? If you're cheating, you're not benefiting yourself and you're just making it harder on yourself and for teachers and you kind of lose that trust between you and your teacher. To stop this problem, some coyotes think that discipline should be applied. If I feel like people who cheat need to be disciplined and need to get in trouble and they need to stop because that's not fair to the people, that's not fair to the regular people who actually do their work. You don't deserve the grade you get. The best way to fix it is to, I would say, issue consequences and then, and then for the student to face those consequences and deal with them. And the good thing about high school is that you can deal with them now and the consequences are not nearly as devastating as they would be if this were to happen three or four years from now. I'm Kaya Lee reporting for Coyote Nation TV. Wow, I didn't realize I was basically cheating for a very long time. Um, Zoe, you just admitted to that on camera. <laughs> Oops. Okay, well, let's get into <laughs> today's announcement. Girls Maroon, Girls Maroon Basketball will play R.O. Turner starting here at <laughs> 4 o'clock p.m. today. Girls Varsity Basketball plays R.O. Turner here at 5 p.m. today. Varsity Football will play against Centennial at the Fort Stadium at 7 o'clock p.m. tonight. Tomorrow, Girls Varsity Golf will play at the Frisco Lakes Golf Course at 8 a.m. Also, Boys Varsity Golf will play at Frisco Lakes Golf Course at 8 o'clock a.m. Tomorrow, well, the Winter Guard is having auditions next Tuesday at 5 p.m. The informational meeting will be on Monday at 4.30 p.m. in the band hall and no experience is needed. Also, the UIL Number Sense will be meeting on Monday at 4.20 p.m. in Mrs. Hill Room B200. 
UIL Science will be meeting on Tuesday at 420 in Ms. Hill's room B200. For all the freshmen who are interested in representing your class and student council are looking for a student, are two, rep I'm sorry, I can't talk today. <laughs> um, for all the freshmen that are interested in representing for your class, student council will be looking for representatives. Please go to Ms. Mumford's room A201 uh, and make sure to sign up by 420. Um, on Thursday, on Thursday, this Thursday, if you really want to just run for a representative position. Also, UNICEF will be meeting before and after school on Thursday. <laughs> please look, please go to your advisor, no, oh, your advisor for more information. The powerlifting team are looking for boys and girls to join their team. The informational meeting will be next Thursday at 4.30 p.m. in the lecture hall. Well, Cowts, the Philanthropy Club will, will be continuing their food drive and will, they will be collecting food on Monday. Please be sure to bring all your items to your 2A classes. The class with the most food items at the end will have a donut party hosted by the HPC officers. Well, that's all we have for you today, Coyotes. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Coyote Nation TV. And check us out on PackPage.org for more information. I'm Zoe Bryant. And I'm Kaya Lee. And, and you stay classy, classy. Coyotes. So I think I'm going to go to the bathroom.